Welcome to video PT01. This is my first video talking about pivot table. In this video particularly, we are going to talk about create design and layout of the pivot tables. Even before working on the pivot table, we need to make sure that you have the proper data set and this is what exactly we are going to discuss. And then how we create the pivot table, how we can give it a name, how we can use the field list window to design our report. And finally, we are going to talk about the report layout and design and let's go directly to excel and see how we can do this together before creation of a pivot table we must have a proper data set and to understand what is proper data set let's go to the left hand side and look at our data prepared for this purpose so the first condition must be met is headers in the first row and this is exactly what we have here we have six columns and we have the headers of these columns at the first row so you can also call it column name or field name or the headers and starting the second row our records or our data starts and the record or the row is one data point for each field and you can see here the first data point is date so this is uh, 1st of January 18 this is for date and then key accounts for channel, canal for region, handlebar for the product name, three for quantity and 182.7 for sales. So this, is, this condition is also met. Starting the second row, we have one data point for each field. Also to have a proper data set, each column should contain the same data type or consistent data type, meaning that date column should contain only dates. Channel, region, and product should contain only text. Quantity and sales should contain only numeric value. And then you should not have any blank rows or totals or subtotals. And why that? Because if we create a pivot table with totals or subtotals, this will result in a duplication in your data. And if you want to test, do any test on your data, you can do it on the side here but you cannot do it inside the column itself because if you create pivot table, this will result in a duplication. And also you should not have any blank rows. And if you want to test this in this data, you can uh, press on control and down arrow and you can see the data is continuous till the line 5931. And I put the total down here and I left one blank row before the totals. So my data set is starting from here up to the headers is continuous no subtotals and no blank rows and also for you to have an easy data set to select you should have a blank cell from each side of your data set so row one is empty a column a is empty column h in is empty and if you go down again you can see uh, row 5932 is empty as well and if you want to test that this it's very easy if you select any cell inside your data range and you press ctrl a it will select exactly the range that you want to use for your pivot table but having your proper data set now you want to create the pivot table and there is two ways to create the pivot table first one is just select any cell inside your proper data set and from insert ribbon on the left hand side click on pivot table and the create pivot table window will pop up directly i will cancel this because i want to show you the, sh the keyboard shortcut also select any cell inside the range or inside your proper data set and press in on alt and v the same window will pop up again create pivot table to complete the action you have to select the range and because you are in a proper data set the excel will, se will sense the range automatically and you can see here the range from sheet jan 2018 sales and here is the name of your sheet and starting from b2 up to g5931 this is exactly the range just confirming your range and then the second question where you want to create your pivot table the default is a new worksheet but for our case we want to put it in, in an existing worksheet so i press on existing worksheet and then i want to specify the location i will put the cursor inside this location i will scroll down 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 and go here in l35 you can see here the location and then i will press on ok the pivot table will be created automatically you can see here on the left hand side or the right hand side you can see the pivot table and the pivot table field list and now you have the pivot table created and first thing to do is to give a meaningful name 
to your report and you can see here the default is pivot table one giving name to the pivot table can be done through two ways first one is just to right click on the pivot table and you select pivot table option and you can give name from here pivot table name I will cancel this or you just go and go to analyze ribbon it will be active only if you select any cell inside the pivot table you can see the analyze ribbon and from the left hand side you can find the pivot table name window and you can just give a name like sales and press on enter now we have the report created and we give a name a meaningful name to the report and now we want to build the report or start to design the report so to design the report we we are going to use the pivot table fields or the fields list so in the upper section of this window you will find a list of all the header name the six header names date channel region and so on and so forth and then in the downside you will see the four sections of the report the filters columns rows and values and let's start with the rows and let's see what will happen if we drag any field inside the rows i will select the channel I will click and hold I will drag it down and release and look at the report what will happen it will generate a unique list of values of these fields so this is exactly what will happen whenever you drop any value or any field inside the rows it will generate a unique list okay now try to also put the region below the channel so I will also uh, click and hold I will drag it down I will release it will generate again another unique list of seven values of the region and you can see it's a multi-level and again it's a unique value or unique list of values and if you tell me that there's a duplication Alex and Alex I'll tell you no because this is Alex for door-to-door -door and this is Alex for key accounts so it's still a unique list of values now I want to take out the uh, region from the report so I can just select click and hold and take it out of this window and release it will disappear and the report will go back view of only channels now i want to take that channel here and drag it into the columns what will happen it will do the same in the column field it will generate a unique list but in the horizontal direction the four unique values for the channel field will be the headers of your report uh, now i want to take out the channel as well because I want to look at the value so I'll take this out and let's try to, dra to drag and drop something in the value section I will start with the sales which is a uh, data of a type numeric so I will take it to the values once I drop it here it will generate an aggregation so anything you drop in the values it will generate an aggregation and because it's a numeric value it will generate uh, a summation as a default but also I can change this I can just right click on this and choose the value field settings and I have a lot of options to choose I can choose the count the average the max the min but let me choose the count if I choose the count the header will change to count of sales and this is the number of transaction 5929 which is exactly the number of rows of my uh, data set now if I want to combine what I did in the values and what I did before in the rows and columns I can take something like the channel and drop it in the rows the field channel I'll drop it in the rows and look what will happen here is the count the total count 5929 and this is broken down by the unique list of values and this is how many times the door-to-door -door appeared in my original data set 1520 and so on and so forth for the rest of the values I can take also the sales I take another instant of the sales I'll drop it in the values here and because it's numeric it will uh, generate a summation aggregation and here is the total sales for door to door door to door total sales for key accounts and so on and so forth if I drop below here something like region it will generate another breakdown so there is, here is the subtotal and here is the breakdown of um, the door-to-door -door by region and if you go down down you'll see the grand total shown here very easy to create an aggregation and create a report using pivot tables so last part in the four sections of the report design window is the filters so let's take the region from the rows and drop it in the filter what will happen here a top level 
filter above the pivot table so you'll have the filter above here if you open this drop down list you'll see all the regions here you can select any one so if i selected the first one let's say alex you can see the report filtered so all the information here is only belong to alex i can do multiple selections i have to check this box first and then i can do multiple selections you can see here region is multiple items and here is the data for these three regions together if i select all now i remove the filters and again it back to the all last topic in this video let's talk a little bit about report layout and design so to start doing this let me take the region down here in the rows and we'll back to this form the multi-level port door to door subtotal and then the breakdown by region and so on and so forth until you find the grand total below here so what you are looking at here is a report layout called compact form this is the default when you create a pivot table report you can, you can change this from the design ribbon and design will appear only when you select any cell inside the pivot table so from design ribbon you will find here the layout section and you can start change the, the report layout from here so this is the default show in compact form if you select outline form you can see the, diff the only difference that the row labels in two columns door to door here and the breakdown is here and once you select this you can do some other changes so you can insert blank rows and again from the layout section from the design ribbon you can go to blank rows and put and select insert blank rows and this will do a separator between each subtotal and also you can repeat the labels if you have it in the outline form so you can go again to report layout and you select repeat all labels and you can see here the labels from the first layer is repeated till the end so there's another uh, report layout which is uh, it's very popular which is called tabular form so again from the design ribbon you can go to report layout and you can select show in a tabular form it's very similar to outline however the subtotals you will be find down here down of the section and the last thing that you can work on with the uh, design is the subtotals so you can select the subtotals and you can select do not show any subtotals so subtotal disappeared here or you can select show subtotals at the bottom like what we have here or you select it show all subtotals at the top but it will not work with this layout you have to go back to the outline and you'll find it here and you can toggle between two these two in this form the outline you can select at the bottom or you can select at the top or you can just remove from everywhere so now let's take out the count of sales i will leave only the sum of sales and from the design ribbon again i will go back to the compact form and now i want you to look at the cross tabular form so if you just take the region from the, the rows and you drag it and drop in the columns now you will have the channel in the rows and the columns uh, you have the regions if you look at the report shape now you can find a unique list of channels on the rows a unique list of regions on the columns and you can see here the values in the intersection and all the sum aggregation in the intersection and you'll have automatically two grand totals one on the right hand, right hand side and one at the bottom of the report and now also you can work on the grand totals because sometimes you don't want to show all the grand totals again it's very easy from the design ribbon from layout grand totals you can just elect not to show any grand totals or you can select to show it only on the rows or only on the columns or whatever you want for me i would go for grand total in both directions so i will go to grand totals and we'll select on for rows and columns now you have a good report you have the channels in the rows and you have the region in the columns and you have grand totals in both direction the last thing that we want to do is to just give a number formatting you just select any cell inside the pivot table right click select number formatting because this is a sales value so i will select currency and zero decimal places okay the entire report will have the proper number formatting before i leave you i want to have a look on the pivot table styles you have a plenty of ready-made styles you have the light you have the medium and you have the dark let me change to something that in the light section i will take the light gray you have some options to add 
you have the banded rows you can select from here or the banded columns you can select from here or you can have your own style if you go down here you can see new pivot table style i did my own pivot table style i put the red in the headers and the white in the header labels a lot of topics discussed in this video pt01 including what is proper data sets creating pivot tables pivot table name and how we design the report using the pivot table field list window and some discussions around layout and design please stay tuned for the next video pt02 if you like what you heard please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you very much and see you in the next video and bye